Hello watchers and hello subscribers. This is again Shrix from SmartHerd. Welcome to 29th Ruby tutorial. In this tutorial, I will teach you about require and require relative statements. Now, now first of all, what is require statement? It is similar to include statement of C and C++ and also import statement of Java. Like if you are aware of C and C++ guys, we used to have a preprocessor hash include stdio.h. So, this statement actually includes the standard input output library. Now, similarly in Java also, we used to import our library files into our Java programs. Similarly, we use our require statement to incorporate other Ruby files into our main program. Now, as explained in this statement, it is actually used to include a Ruby program into another Ruby program. Things will be more clear guys as I will proceed with this presentation. Now let's move forward. Now, first of all, what is the syntax of this require statement? First, in order to use this require statement, we have to load the path of the file which we want to incorporate in our main program. So, dollar sign, then load underscore path, then double left shift operator, then within the single quote, we are having this dot. Now, this dot signifies we have to look for the file in the same directory in which our project is stored. So this is actually the path of the project. Now next we have to write require space then within the double quotes we have to write the file name. Suppose our file name is add.rb. So we have to write add.rb. Even if you don't write .rb extension also then also it will look for the addrb file in this directory. Now what if if you don't like this statement dollar load path then this operator then within a single quote dot if you don't want to write this then simply write require relative instead of this require now what is the syntax of that it's quite simple and very easy just you have to write require underscore relative then within the double quotes file name that is add dot rb or simply add no props it's up to you now one of the most important thing to note that guys you don't have to write the absolute path such as slash home slash user slash docs then slash add dot rb always try to use this require relative or simply this syntax do not use such thing in your ruby program now let's move forward now where to use such require statement Suppose we are having dot add dot rb program and we are also having this sub dot rb program. This add dot rb program actually lets user to add two integers and the sub dot rb program actually lets user to subtract two numbers. Now these are the two independent programs or two independent Ruby files. Suppose we are having a we are having the Ruby file as math.rb. Now, in this math.rb, you want to do operations like add.rb or sub.rb or addition or subtraction. So, for that, you have to incorporate this add.rb into this and sub.rb into this. For that, you don't have to write the whole program here again. You just have to incorporate these two files here using the require relative or require statement. Now let's use the syntax of require to incorporate these two files here. Now first of all we have to specify the path. So dollar load underscore blah 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 whatever we are looking for this add.rb file in the same ruby file where our mat.rb is stored. Now next require add.rb this will put this add.rb file into this mat.rb. Now next we have to incorporate the sub.rb file here for that again we have to write require sub.rb this will incorporate sub.rb here now what if if we want to use require relative for that the syntax is very simple just change it like require underscore relative at dot rb require underscore relative sub dot rb no need to specify the path here because require underscore relative itself specifying the part of the directory where the mat.rb is stored and where these two files are also stored 
and here within the mat.rb we can specify our codes like this so this is all for this tutorial guys hope you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel please share my video please share my channel support us in a way you can and catch you guys in the next tutorial thank you